everyone, it's June and welcome to my video. And today's video, I am making the most delicious breakfast casserole ever. It's a, a crouton egg and cheese sausage casserole. Don't mind my hair. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so what you're going to need is some Pam. I prefer the butter, the butter Pam. You need, you can get this ground up or I got the links, but they're not cooked, so we have to cook these. And this is 12 ounce of original pork sausage links. You need croutons. You need two cups of cheddar cheese, and you need eight eggs, and a nice casserole baking dish. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna take these out of the casings, and I'm going to brown them up now. Okay, so I have my sausage links out here. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I have a pan that's nice and heated, but before I do any of this, I'm gonna set my oven to 325, which I already did. So, to open up the casings, I take the pork sausage link, I cut down the middle. This takes a little bit, not, not that much time, but and you could just throw them on. Oh, I gotta put them in the thing. And again, just do it quickly. That's it. Now you could do this in a bowl and then throw it onto the pan, but I guess I do things the hard way. Right? Um, the longer way, I mean. Ah! I should have like a little bowl, like a little, uh, like Rachel Ray has, you know. She has the bowl that, <laughs> that she keeps on the counter for her garbage and, ah! Uh, okay, so, I'm gonna do all this and I'll get right back to you, I'll show you, because I'm sure you're gonna be bored watching me do all these sausage links. So I'll be right back. Ah, let me shut Okay, so it seems like it's getting uh, nice and cooked. I'm using my meat, it's like a meat chopper. I don't know the exact name to it, but I'm gonna put the link down below because my sister sells these from Pampa Chef and I couldn't imagine my life without it. Because you know when you have to cut up, like uh, you have to chop up some ground beef and it ground beef and gets all, you know, stuck together like in big clumps, this, We'll just chop it up. It's the best thing. Look at that. It minces the meat. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to brown this, and I'll come right back. Okay, look how nice and browned it got, and look how minced it got from my food mincer, chopper. I forgot the name. <laughs> um, oh, look, there's a piece. So you're going to continue doing this until it's completely cooked. Okay, so I have eight eggs in a bowl, and I forgot to mention, I had to put one and three quarter cups of milk in here and a pinch of salt. So I am going to scramble this until they completely scrambled. Also, what I forgot, I'm not very good at this, I'm I should stick to hair, but um, I also melted one quarter cup of butter in the microwave. And I'm gonna show you why in a second, okay? Give me one. Second. Okay, so now we're gonna put everything together. So I have the pan, and I'm going to generously spray the bottom of my casserole pan. And then I'm going to take the croutons, the whole bag of croutons, and just make sure there's a nice layer on the bottom. Okay, try to evenly spread them out. They don't all have to be flat, but that's what you're gonna do. Okay. So that's good. Okay, now you're going to take your melted butter and you're going to pour on top of the croutons. Okay, so make sure you get, you don't have to get every single one of them, but make sure you coat them well. Then you're going to take your two cups of grated cheese, cheddar cheese. I like the sharp cheddar. Make sure it's even. Okay. Make sure it's nice and even. With well, that looks good. Then you're going to take your egg mixture. You're going to put it on top of that. And again, make sure it's nice and even. It'll probably even itself out, but still. Make sure it's all coated. Oh my God, this is so, oh, I got a shell in here. Oh, Rachel Ray, I'm not. Um, just make sure. Okay. 
Oh my god, this is so delicious, guys. I think I have another shell. Oh god, don't eat it at my house. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my sausage and I'm gonna evenly again evenly distribute and it doesn't have to be completely completely cooked because it's going to cook in the pan in the oven so just throw it in there and then you can spread it out once it's in <laughs> I just missed half the casserole dish <sighs> okay. I guess that's good enough Jeez. I should never have my own cooking show, right? And just, again, move it around. Like so. Mm-hmm. Okay, make sure all the corners are covered as well because I love the corners, so I want to make sure that my sausage is in there. And now that the stove is completely preheated, we're going to put this in for about 50 minutes. So let's get this into the oven. Okay, so in it went, and I put my timer on for 40 minutes because I'm going to time it for 40 minutes. We'll check it, and then uh, we'll see if it's done. If not, we'll put it in for another 10 minutes. Okay, so after about 45 minutes, because I checked it, it wasn't quite cooked. I checked it, I mean, I took it out after 45 minutes, and it seems perfect. Oh, look at that. And you can check by looking inside to make sure that the eggs are cooked, that they're fluffy inside. It looks completely done, so I'm going to serve this oh, now. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I'm going to take a taste of that. Look at that. Look at the croutons, the cheese, the egg, the sausage. I'm going to try this right now. Okay, so I'm going to try it. Oh my God, it looks so good. Uh -huh -huh. Mm. Oh my God. This hits the spot. Mm. I encourage everybody to make it. And if you're on a protein diet or even like Weight Watchers Simply Filling, you can totally make this Simply Filling. Just omit the croutons unless you want... um. You can put like bread, light bread on the bottom. You can do eggs or egg beaters. You can do fat-free sharp cheddar cheese. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, and uh, you can do turkey sausage. So you can totally make this a healthy, a healthy way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you make it. And when you do, and if you do, when you do, just leave a comment down below and let me know how much you loved it. Okay guys. Hope you enjoy my video. Bye.